Okay, so those white hairs can have a mind of their own, can't they? They can be wiry, they're the ones yeah. that stick out to yeah. the top. What are your best tips for taming the wild silver hairs? So I think what we're understanding is obviously once we start to go grey, you know, say if we've got one strand of hair that's grey, it's a different texture as well. And I think that's the that's the that's another um, thing people kind of notice is it's a different colour, but also it's a different texture. Now, there's different ways of managing that, um, but I mean, simply, it is to, to let them grow down and grow longer so they can start to blend in with the rest of your hair. But in that meantime, uh, little things like a tiny little bit of hairspray on your hands and just to smooth down is a great option. And um, some serums and things like that to kind of help smooth it out. But it, 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 it's falling in love with them little rogue ones that are yeah. running around. Um, but equally, you've got that even if you have if you've not got grey hair you know um, yeah. natural you know natural coloured hair or artificial coloured hair there is still them new hairs, hairs that, that come up yeah. yeah i think it's just because if you've got a grey one sticking up you see it and it's like it's, it, it, and it's always there you know what i mean it's never yeah. underneath at the no. back it's always there sticking through getting yeah. excited and showing you know but it's yeah. like, it's uh, just a bit of hairspray and tame it down and just kind of hope for it to grow down into it as well